friends and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to talk to you about how you can do to watch TV from anywhere in the world and you know without using your TV. So there are many devices in the market. The most popular ones are the Slingbox and uh, there is a new device on the market called the Volcano that is the one that I bought that is really good for just accomplishing this. With the Volcano you can connect uh, the device to your TV, your cable TV at home and you can stream the through the internet all your TV channels and uh, that will be accessible in any location that you have uh, connected your computer or even your mobile phone. So in other words, you connect the Volcano to your TV and to your internet at home and then if you are in uh, Europe or China or at the office or anywhere, if you have a computer or a mobile device, a cell phone, a Blackberry or an iPhone for example, you can watch TV. And not only that, you can change channel, you can uh, record any shows that are on TV and then watch them on your device so it works as a VCR or a TiVo and uh, it's really amazing what this device can do so I highly recommend it and on this video I'm gonna tell you what are the goods and the bads of the Volcano now first of all you can go it's to buy the Volcano you have to go to the Volcano website and um, the company is called Monsoon Multimedia. It's called. Uh, I'm gonna show it to you here. It's. Uh, you see the website, monsoonmultimedia.com. It's a California company, and this device I think was a. Uh, uh, it won a, a couple of awards. Now when I bought it, I was one of the first ones that bought it, and I spent a hundred and fifty dollars. And right now they are selling the this version for ninety nine ninety nine. Yes, I feel a little bit ripped off, but you know, it's like everything with technology. I mean, you have to pay a price to be the innovator or the, the how can I say, the, the tester or the, the first person to use it. Now, but guess what? I think it was worth it, even if I paid $50 more. I feel it was totally worth it because I have uh, used it a lot. In fact, uh, I'm going to tell you a couple of tricks that made me save money a lot. So just, I want to show you the box. This is the back of the box. It says you can stream TV, record to mobile, YouTube on TV. So it, besides, um, you know, uh, streaming the internet, it does have some kind of apps or attachments that allow you to watch YouTube and other stuff. But this has, they are not very developed by most songs. So uh, I, I, I never use them and I don't count on them. But what I can say, and I can be witness of, is that it's very good and it streams perfectly if you are using a computer to access, and you have a, a decent internet connection in, on both ends. Because remember, this device goes attached to, to your computer, I mean, it goes attached to the internet and to your cable at home. And then, in your remote location, you have internet too, and then you can watch with your computer the TV. So you, you need internet connection on both ends and that internet connection needs to be of a decent speed. Uh, now you see it has live TV, TV recordings and it tells you that you can use any device including the iPads, I, iPhones, laptops. So it's it's really cool. Okay I show you the box so I'm going to show you I want to show you the device itself. So let me go back here. So this is the device itself. You see, it's on, it's power on. It's very thin. Look how thin this is. This thing is, and to be honest, it looks pretty cool. So this is very thin. It's thinner than a VCR or a DVD recorder. Uh, this is the bottom of it, and uh, this is the back. I guess the most interesting part probably is the back. So you have an HDMI port. You have a couple of uh, HD video ins and audio in. S video out, HD video out. Also, you have this um, USB port that is reserved and, and it's not really used. Uh, so, 
is probably there for a future expansion, a reset button, a SATA, an eSATA um, connector for um, SATA hard drives, and an Ethernet port. Now, the good thing about this is that I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it back and continue showing you. The good thing about this is that, as you can see, this the the Volcano. First of all, you can connect it to the internet through the Ethernet cable. That would be the best way and the fastest to connect it through the, to, through your internet. Probably all you have to do is connect that uh, network cable to the Volcano and then to your wireless router or to your um, modem and I will create a, a cable connection that is fast and, and more reliable but if that the way I have it set it up and it's pretty good too and reliable at the same time is wirelessly and that's because the Volcano is also uh, wireless so it doesn't need to be connected to the internet with the cable like I just mentioned you can, it's, you can just connect it like a laptop connects to the internet completely wirelessly that's very, pretty cool because then it saves you the, the travel to having to launch or to, to, to run a cable from the volcano to your router. You know? and, uh, so for example I have my volcano in, in the bedroom and my router is in the other bedroom or in the living room. So that's pretty good. Another thing though is um, that you have two ways to connect it to the TV. One way is to use the, US, the HDMI cable and the other way is like I did to, to plug it through the RCA cables. So that's up to you uh, but you have the choice. Now I have to tell you that if you connect your Volcano to normally when you want it to connect it to, to a cable TV, right? To stream cable. So you have two options. If you connect it to the cable box that will be the ideal. You will have a, a, all your chain channels that you can see on the cable box will be available in your volcano. But now uh, there will be a problem because you may need to change channel, and to change channel, the volcano use the following devices. And I want to show you this. Um, here, here you see it. It's, it's a little mess now. I'm sorry because I'm just for this demonstration. You see that I have a very old very old VCR here and uh, you can still find these things for like 40 bucks but I had a couple of them and so I put them to use why? because like I said if you connect the, your volcano directly to your cable box then uh, you cannot really, ch uh, only one device can change channel at the same time so let's say somebody's watching TV on the TV that is connected to the cable box and I'm watching the TV in China with the volcano that is also attached to that cable box and I change channel so if I change channel in China it will change channel here so that person that is watching TV here is gonna be very annoyed so that's not a good solution for me so what I did is I put it in, in the spare in the spare TV in the, in the, in the spare um, cable TV on the bedroom that doesn't have a box it has a direct connection so disadvantages, I lose channels that are above the 100 because I'm just using the regular analog channel without the cable box. The second thing is that uh, I have to have a device that allows me to change channel or, or in other words a tuner, so a device with a tuner and that is either an old VCR or an old DVD player that has a tuner that allows you to change channel. So I had it, it's here. So what I did is connect it to the TV and then connect the Volcano to the VCR. Then the, the Volcano comes with these little devices here that you see here. These are radio, uh, these are infrared um, receivers and senders. So all they do is that when you send the, this, the command to change channel on your Volcano, let's say in Italy, you're in Italy and you change channel, the Volcano receives that, those commands and issues them through these little things that I have taped here to the VCR. And that's going to simulate or do the same thing that changing channel with the remote control here of the VCR. So I can change channel that way. So that's how the Volcano implements the, the, the problem of changing channel. 
and it's efficient, it works. I can tell you, you know, the bottom line is that it really works. It's, it sounds complicated, but at a, and it is in a, in, in a way, but also if you are in the business of wanting to stream your cable TV through the internet to watch it in another part of the world, you should expect, you know, some level of complication. And uh, you should be a little bit tech sa savvy or find somebody who is and then help you to install it. But once you install it, you know, everything works seamlessly. Um, so it, it's, it's really convenient. Now, before I end this video, I just want to mention that um, you can use your mobile devices. And in fact, I use my iPhone all the time to watch TV. Now, there is a caveat. And the caveat is that for a, it, when you use the Volcano with your computer in a fast internet connection, it works perfectly. It works perfectly. You can record, watch TV, you can change channel, everything works perfectly. It doesn't really work well when you use your mobile device, you know, iPad, iPhone, or Blackberry. And I, by the way, I have used it in a Blackberry and on an iPhone. So I can, I can, I know what I'm talking about. So it doesn't work very well when you use it in, in a mobile device if you are on 3G speeds or less. I haven't tested it on 4G's, but on 3G, it doesn't really work and it's not really usable. So don't really expect to watch TV on the car uh, using your, your 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 iPhone or Blackberry on 3G speeds. It just doesn't work. It stumbles, the video stops, sometimes it's only audio and it stops all the time. So that's not really usable. Now, if you your phone or mobile device has Wi-Fi, it's connected to a Wi-Fi network, it will work perfectly. So it's not, I think it's not the really the fault of the device or the Volcano, but it's just that it requires a certain amount of speed for it to work well. Of course, there are several things that Volcano should do to make the probably the video and the audio size smaller so it will work in these slow speed connections. But, you know, and it was expected for me. I, I, I really didn't want it to, to, to be that powerful. It was not such an expensive device. I'm not sure if the Slingbox is better. I haven't tried it myself. But the Slingbox costs twice as much or more than the, the, the Volcano. And for, I, for what I wanted, it it worked perfectly. Actually, I'm going to tell you a secret. I plug my the Volcano in my family, in one of my parents' uh, house. And I was using it for six months and in my house, and I didn't have cable TV. Therefore, I saved six months of cable, and with those savings, I pay off for my volcano and even save money on the long run. So, you know, there are different things you can use with your volcano, and uh, it really gives you a lot of flexibility and freedom. Anyway, this is all for today. I hope you enjoy it. In, if this video is successful and has uh, views or if you give me comments about it, I will probably make a part two to show you how it works in action on the computer and on a mobile device. Thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe.